Hello everyone. My name is Anita Singh, your science teacher from Sri Rama Bharti Public School. Today I will explain few topics from pressure. So let's start. Now today we will discuss fluid pressure and the liquid pressure. Fluid pressure. We all know liquids and gases are collectively called fluids. Liquids and gases are collectively called fluids. So the pressure which is exerted by this fluid is known as fluid pressure. The pressure which is exerted by a fluid is called fluid pressure. Fluids exert pressure on an object which is immersed in them or the walls of the container which is holding them. So this pressure exerted by a fluid is called fluid pressure. Fluid pressure can be classified into two types. One is liquid pressure, second is gaseous pressure. And today we will discuss liquid pressure, pressure in liquid. The pressure exerted by a liquid on an object immersed in it and on the walls of the container is called liquid pressure. Now there are few facts about liquid pressure. Like liquids exert equal pressure in all directions. If you will take a rubber ball and make holes, many holes there, and then we fill it completely with the water, then what we will see, the from the water will come out from all the holes in all the direction. The pressure of a liquid at the same depth will be the same. For this, if you will take a cylindrical can, and then we will make four, five holes there uh, at, at the same horizontal level and then we will close these holes with the tape and after that we can fill the uh, can with water and then we will open the hole at the same time so what we will observe we will observe that water flows out with equal force from all the holes so first we have seen that liquid exerts equal pressure in all direction now in second case we have seen that the pressure of a liquid at the same depth will be the same. Now the third condition. The pressure of a liquid increases with the depth. Now for this what we will do. We will take a can and then we will make four or five holes uh, in, in different heights from the base. Then again we will close all these holes with the help of a tape. Then we will pour water in this can and then we will take out the tape. Then what we will observe, what we will show that the pressure is maximum at the lowest hole and decrease as you will move higher. So this shows that the pressure is maximum at the bottom and minimum at the top. Now liquid always flow from the higher level at the, to a lower level. This is because liquids flow from a point at a higher pressure to the point at lower pressure. I'm repeating, liquids flow from a point at a higher pressure to the point of a lower pressure. That's why the water tanks are always capped where? At the top of the buildings. Then liquid pressure increases with increase in the density of the liquid. The greater the density, the greater is the pressure. It exert the pressure exerted by the liquid at the same depth. Again, I want to repeat. The liquid pressure increases with increase in the density. For this, we can see there's an activity. We can take two glass tubes, right? And, uh, and then two balloons. And in one, we will take uh, kerosene. And in second, we will take water, right? We will fix the balloon to one end of each tube and hold the tubes upright and pour the equal, equal amount of water and equal amount of kerosene into each tube. Then what will we will observe later on? We will observe that we pour equal amount, but the tube in which water was poured become bigger than the one in which the kerosene was poured. So what this, what is the conclusion then? that as density of water is greater than the density of kerosene, the balloon in which water was poured was inflated more than one in which the kerosene was poured. Now the 
liquid pressure is always measured by an instrument which is known as manometer u tube manometer it is a u shaped glass tube which is filled with water then you gently apply pressure on the rubber film with your palm you will find that there is a difference in the water level is created in the manometer and if we will immerse the funnel into a bucket of water we can see again there is a difference in the water level in the u tube the deeper you immerse the deeper we will immerse it it is the greater will be the difference in the water level what does it mean this means the pressure exerted by a liquid increases as you go deeper and deeper now there are two applications of liquid pressure like we have seen the deep sea divers they need to wear a specially designed suits why because we know in the deep inside the sea there will be a great water pressure so the suit help them to withstand with the great water pressure similarly in submarine the hulls have to be specially strengthened to withstand the liquid pressure fish found deep under the sea have bodies that adapted to withstand the great pressure under water during fishing when they are brought out of the water sometimes their body burst as a result of a sudden fall in pressure so these were the applications of liquid pressure so i hope all topics are clear and now it's time to say goodbye